Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, fellow Christians, born again Christians, and everybody out there. We welcome you to our wonderful program. This program is for you and for me and many others that will be watching this channel. Today, we thank God for this given time, a time that it was in his plan for us to be here, for us to be alive, and for us to communicate together like we are doing now. I am hosting my friend, Ashadrak Ruricha Kuboy, who is a friend, and, and I knew about him for quite some time. Oh. Uh, we began by, by social media, Facebook, and so on. But in the last two weeks, we have made it very serious for us to meet, and oh. we thank the Almighty God for enabling us to meet. Yeah. You know, we can be neighbors, but not meet. But because of this work of Christ, we are now meeting because we are born again, both of us, yes. and we are pushing on in the same course of, of spreading the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for this wonderful time that you have given all of us, O oh Lord. Thank you for my brother Shadrach. Thank you for myself. Thank you because of our families and our churches that we fellowship in. May your name be glorified as we share your word today and as we introduce this program. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So, my brother. Yes, sir. Happy to meet you. Uh, good. I'm grateful to see, to see you today. Thank you, Mr. Jerobam. Yes, uh, it has been a long time. Yeah. We desired to meet, and God has given us this opportunity to meet today. We thank God. Eh? Amen. Mm. So, first of all, before we dive into our program, it is okay for you to introduce yourself as we continue. So, welcome, my bro. Okay, my full name is uh, Shadrach Kuboy uh, Ruricha. I am born again, and I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I am married uh, and I have uh, three uh, children. Uh, I'm also a member of the King Jesus uh, Faith Ministries International. Uh, the headquarters in, in, is in Bungoma and uh, Apostle Emmanuel Mayeku. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently we are uh, fellowshipping in Kayole in a church called King Jesus Faith Ministries Kayole. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereby we are under uh, the Deputy Bishop uh, Binea Cheshari Mugun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Binea Cheshari Mugun is the, the senior pastor here. Yeah, he's the senior pastor mm -hmm. and he's also the assistant uh, bishop. The, the Deputy Bishop of the ministry. All oh, right. Okay, so that's good. And, and, and how about yourself in that church? Uh, uh, how, where, in which area do you serve? Okay, I'm in the church leadership, the uh, the church board, mm. but I'm serving mostly as the uh, youth pastor. Mm. Uh, we have another youth, youth pastor we work with mm -hmm. uh, to mentor the youth and to help the youth uh, grow and mm. to uh, to get their potential uh, to do a lot for Christ. It's very interesting because that's the area of my interests Good. so much, the area yes. of youth and, and because... Growing up the youth is is, is is like shaping the church after we have left. Yes. Then they take over. So it's only progressive for us to handle these youth matters. But but I realize I realize apart from you being a youth pastor, you are handling some tough uh, issues for my viewers. Actually what made me to call uh, Pastor Shadrach is because I watched him handle some things it matters biblical last last week but one there i think i'm right yeah you're right sir. so i saw as if this was resonating with the reason with which i began this wonderful channel for us this channel for those that do not ha do not know about it it is about encouraging one another with the testimonies with the word of god and inspiring stories because inspiring stories will only better you out there in the sharing of the word of God, you will become better also. And also testimonies will help you to grow in faith. And so I want to do something because I saw Pastor tackle these things. But today I've singled out into a theme. Yes. And this theme shall be the confidence of 
the born again Christians. Where should we draw our confidence from? And I will not lead him, but he will be tackling his own way, but the theme will remain confidence as church members, confidence as born again Christians, and confidence in the work of God that is going on, and also confidence in handling everything generally about the work of Christ. And so stay tuned, watch this small video we are going to do today to the end. This program, watch it until the end, you will see its benefit. And last thing before he comes in is when you share, when, when, when you watch this program, ensure that you share it out to others by sharing, either sharing the link or letting others to know and subscribe to the channel. And this will not be the only channel. We have another channel for him, Shadrach Ruricha. Shadrach Ruricha. Uh, Shadrach Ruricha so, is YouTube. another. YouTube. You will share in it. So we will be cross-sharing so that we reach a broader base of people. Now you know, now you have caught our interest. Our interest is to reach many people. So help us reach many people. So the YouTube channels is this one, Kimutai Ngeiwa, and another one, Shadrach, Shadrach Ruricha. Ru Ru Okay, he is stressing. Shadrach Ruricha. Right. Thank you so much. Now, it happens that uh, that uh, this thing is coming in handy at times when actually Kenya is getting ushered into revival. And That's so, very right. Yeah, it is mm. being ushered into revival. Before we dive into our topic, say something about Kenyan revival. A little in your own way. Okay. Kenyan revival uh, is something that is not coming by surprise. It's something that has been prophesied on uh, for some years. It's about the latter day uh, anointing uh, that is going to fall on the land of Kenya. And it's not only uh, in the land of Kenya that people have prophesied, but even uh, I've heard of people from uh, distant parts of the world talking about the revival that is mightily coming to Kenya. Mm. Uh, part of them in South Africa, part of them in Zimbabwe, some of them in Uganda, some of them in Tanzania, and in many other countries, they have been speaking about this revival. I've also been writing about this revival in the Facebook, about the rise of Kenya, mm -hmm. and the generally the rise of Africa. Mm -hmm. So this revival uh, is has started in Kenya, mm -hmm. and we are going to experience a new wave of revival, such as has not been since uh, uh, Kenya became a nation. And one of the things I said before revival comes, uh, there is going to come first the, uh, some darkness. Mm. And I said, uh, this darkness uh, always precedes uh, the great light. Uh -huh. And I use one example. I said uh, that b uh, when Moses was going to be manifested uh, to the world, uh, there was some darkness in the land of Egypt. Mm. So that uh, so many young children were killed by by Pharaoh, mm, the two uh, year old. yeah, the mm. two years and below, and below yeah, yeah, because there was going to become a revival. <laughs> I also said uh, that during the time of Jesus Christ, before he was manifested mm. fully, mm. Uh, you see what Herod did, yes, he actually killed the innocent babies, so there was a lot of mourning. Uh, in the land uh, of Israel, mm. yeah, be, uh, when uh, it came like that. Finally, I also said uh, that uh, when King David was going to be ushered in to be the king of Israel, yes. before that there was some total darkness. Uh, in fact, you see what uh, Saul did mm. uh, and the challenges that Israel uh, uh, faced. Uh, just one man was able to scare the whole nation away, mm. uh, the Goliath. Mm. Uh, he, he, say, he just stands there and he says, give me a man. <laughs> and you see, the whole of Israel could not give a man. Yes. But the secret in the revival is uh, God is looking for a man uh, that he can use. Mm. And God just wants one person that is willing mm. uh, to commit his life to God. And then God will use that person to bring a mighty revival. So we thank God for the East presence mm. and the revival that has started in Kenya mm. and is going to be mighty. Amen. Mm. Amen. So revival. Why revival? There is a place where God wants to return these nations to. Something was lost. So we are getting, getting revived into something that God wants, us, God wants us to be. But something I have caught is this. What we are seeing now is part of the ushering in of revival economic uh, shutdown challenges for those that are in political seasons and even 
even a lot of challenges that are coming by is supposed to be seen with the eye that is of the spirit, spiritual eye. Darkness has to come, our brother has shared briefly, for us to be ushered into revival. So, just in a twinkling of an eye, for sure, revival has started, but there has been a lot of darkness, not so. Yeah, that's now, right. And, 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 and also, revival is for the people who are ready. You don't just need to wait for it. You need to do something. So we will not go into that so much. But maybe to echo what my brother has said, though I am the host, this past week we've had men of God from Nigeria, from South Africa, and from Uganda. But the most prevailing one was the one that was in Kasarani, the Rema Fest, Rema Fest that was in Kasarani. But I'm sharing this because uh, more than two meetings, there were actually three meetings of the people from Nigeria with the different pastors within one city here in Nairobi. That's amazing. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Here in Nairobi, I, three. I just land of the Kasarani one. The Kasarani one. Yeah. There was another one at the RCCG. Yes. Redeemed uh, Christian Gospel. Uh, how is it? The pastor Obasi Ike Church. Yes. Yeah. He, her bishop from Nigeria was with her. Okay. There was another one that is called Global Apostolic. Uh, leadership network okay. that was at Sitam Valley Road. Yes. So the leader of the two also were Nigerians. Okay. The bishop to Esther Obasike is a Nigerian. That's the good. leaders of the Global Apostolic uh, Leadership Forum is led by the Nigerian, though South Africans and Ugandans were there. Plus the one that was uh, hosted by by uh, Pastor Julian Kula of the Purpose Kula. Center. Yes. He hosted a Nigerian a uh, man of God called Joshua Selman. So That's there were good. three, the yeah. same week in the same city. Yeah, I think I happened also to watch Selman in <laughs> YouTube. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was actually amazing. Amazing. It was good teaching. So we are connecting. We are in unity doing this work of God. Now, can you introduce to us now about this, uh, uh, this theme of ours? We are talking about confidence. I don't know how you have prepared to introduce it. So you are welcome to continue. Oh, thank you, viewers. I think for us, it's always good to begin uh, with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And I take this opportunity just for us to read from the book of First Corinthians, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 1, uh, uh, verse 14, mm -hmm. uh, which says, I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. I baptized also the household of Stephanas, Besides, I know not whether I baptize any, for Christ sent me not to baptize, uh, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be of made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that perish, uh, but unto us which are saved is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Mm -hmm. uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Paul tells us clearly that uh, uh, he is there to preach the gospel of Christ, not with the wisdom of words, but with the power of God. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's what makes the world difference, mm. because uh, when the word of God is preached in uh, the power of God, mm. uh, that is when the church becomes alive that is when the church becomes real mm -hmm. that is when you get the true church the people that are confident of themselves the people who are now able to uh, uh, declare boldly the stand that they have in christ hallelujah hallelujah so now paul talks of the baptism he says that i did not baptize anyone unless anybody should say i am baptized of paul mm -hmm. but he says that uh, uh christ baptized all of us and if we want to get the boldness the confidence that we have we must receive the baptism of christ the baptism of this baptism of christ is called the baptism by the holy spirit mm -hmm. so when he get uh, baptized by the holy spirit uh we get the confidence that comes from god up to there Two things we have contrasts yes we are not supposed to preach the gospel with the wisdom of words yes but with the power of god yes we need to be baptized the baptism of christ which is 
the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. There now we'll be able to draw confidence. Yes. To move on. Yeah. In the work of Christ. Yeah. Let's move on. Pastor. So and now let's continue. Mm. Yeah. This way. How do we get this confidence? Mm. Uh, the scriptures say clearly that uh, you have not received the spirit of fear to fear again, mm -hmm. but you have received the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. mind okay. I think it is Paul was writing to it, Timothy. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Continue, continue. So sir. now this spirit, uh, mm. when he is in us, uh, mm. he gives us the confidence. The confidence is not just to feel confident. The confidence helps us to do so many other things. First, you need to be confident. Many people are not confident with themselves. Mm -hmm. In fact, many people don't trust themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's the strange thing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody would rather would rather praise another one. Yeah. So than, than himself. Uh, uh, yeah, they better uh, prefer others. <laughs> that's why uh, people have models. People have uh, their preferred choice. Yes. Uh, they are preferred candidates. They are preferred everything, mm. and uh, they don't want to be themselves. Mm. They just want to be like so and so. Okay. That's why you can see many people, they will like to put on uh, the images of others uh -huh. in their clothings, in, in everything they do so that they look like them. Okay. Yeah, they will look for people who have achieved like Mike Tyson. Uh -huh. They look at uh, other great men that have done a lot yes. uh, in life, mm. uh, like J Jordan. Mm. Uh, they look at uh, maybe other great preachers like Reinhard Bonke. Uh -huh. uh, then they say, oh, okay, I think I should be like Bonke. Mm. But uh, even in imitating others, uh, there, is, there comes a time when you must uh, build confidence in yourself, uh, then the real you must come out boldly. There now, there now. The real you, the real you must come out yes. boldly. Yeah, uh -huh. maybe let me give an example yes. from the scriptures. Mm. Uh, you see, uh, there is, uh, uh, in the Bible, we, we, we understand that uh, uh, Abraham dug so many other wells, uh, and then Isaac do, uh, dug many other wells. So, but then there came a time also Jacob uh, redug the wells of his fathers. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, uh, he dug his own well. well. So, this is what happens in life. Uh, you mm. might copy others. Mm. You might imitate others. But then later, you need to develop your real you. You need to build that confidence uh, so that uh, you, you trust that whatever you are doing, whatever you are saying mm -hmm. is acceptable before all. Yes. That is what must come out of us. So to be aided in that, then God gives us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to to understand ourselves, to have confidence in, in ourselves. That is why even when you wake up in the morning, mm. you must vote for yourself. <laughs> you must say, I'm that one. Yes. Yeah. So how, yeah. How do we vote to, to ourselves? You appreciate yourself. Uh -huh. You talk good things about yourself. Uh -huh. You prophesy good things about yourself. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you, you say also, I'm, I'm loved, I'm likable. There are so many people who don't love themselves. Sure, sure. And sure. the Bible scripture says, love your neighbor as, as you, you love, love yourself. yourself. Because uh, before you even you start your neighbor, you have to demonstrate to yourself. First of Before all. you show confidence outside, you must show confidence inside. They say charity begins at, at home. home. Mm. So you must begin. How do we get this confidence? Yes. Continue. After you have received the Holy Spirit. After we have received then, the Holy Spirit. Then you need now to read the word of God because mm. the word of God will give you that assurance of who you are. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Jeroboam, you deal many uh, uh, in in electricals uh, yes. uh, besides the other things. That's my profession. That's your profession. Uh, so if you want to get many <laughs> things concerning the electricity, electronics, uh -huh. and many other things, then uh, uh, don't come to me, go to Jeroboam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> besides <laughs> preaching the gospel, yes, uh, he's yes. an expert in that. Yeah. Uh, electrical installations and many other things. Mm. So uh, example, for example, if you buy a radio, uh, there is the manual that mm. is supposed to guide you on how you operate that radio. radio. Mm. Most of us, we don't read it. Mm. But in case you read it, mm. you will do much better. With that same same product. The yeah, radio. that same uh, product, the radio. Mm. Why? Because you have, you have followed the manual carefully. It has uh, 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 directed you know, what you are supposed to do mm. and what you are not supposed to, to do. do. Yes. Now, the same to the word of God. This mm. word of God mm. is like our manual. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord has, has shown us what we ought to do and what we ought not, not to, to do. do. So if we follow it clearly, then we shall be on the right way. When we are on the right way, then we now become righteous. I want to follow your words also clearly because you have used the word clearly. Yes. Don't just follow, but follow clearly the yes. word of God. Now, this word of God, mm. 
we must follow it clearly. Mm -hmm. We must read it. And before we read, we pray to God yes. for great understanding. So when we pray to God, he reveals this word of God. When he reveals this word of God, it's grounded in us. The revelation that we get by reading it comes from the Lord. Yes. Because this book mm. was was uh, authored by the Lord himself. Yeah, yeah. It book. was written by inspired men, yes. but God is the one who intended it to be that right. way. Yeah, it is it was written by the people who are inspired yes. by God. Inspired by God. Yes. But the, it was actually the scribes who are men like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> because of that, yes. Uh, God gave his breath to this word. Mm. So his words, they are, as it, say, it says by word, is a spirit and life. Mm. So there is life when you read this word of God. Sure. sure now, sure. when we read the word of God, uh, there are so many things which, uh, uh, which uh, come to life mm. because the word is life. Sure. Yeah. It's not only in salvation alone, mm. but salvation is the beginning now. Of the good things yes some people are doing business but they are not doing well mm. some people are uh, in school but they have challenges exactly. there are those who when they want to do exams they mm. discover that they are sick mm. or something happens just when they are about to sit for, sit for the exams yeah. or they are uh, stressed up mm. and many other things but the word of god gives us the confidence to do all things the word of god yes the word us, of god gives us confidence. so when we read the word mm. we get the confidence inside it to do all things yes to do all things to do business yeah 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 i want yes. you to explain that yes. and to study uh -huh. and to do many other things yeah yeah yeah, yeah because when we get uh, the word it will direct us on how we do things yes. in a very good way exactly you know you might do something but you might not be doing well mm. so that's why you need the expertise but when you begin with the word of god mm. the word of god will connect you to many other great things to the right people mm. that uh, you know like if you search anything maybe in the internet uh, it depends. Are you searching the right site or the wrong, wrong site? site yes. Because if you get the wrong site, then you are misled. Yeah. But you get the good site, mm. then you are led well. Yeah. Now, this word of God, when we read, we are able now to differentiate mm. the good and the bad. And the bad. Mm -hmm. That is what guide us, guides us. Amen. So this confidence in 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 a person yes. or in any creation, when you get it, mm. now you have to demonstrate it. You, it, you have to demonstrate by confessing mm. you say i want to do such and such a thing mm. so mm. when you confess it uh, you are doing one thing that is noble in the scriptures they say by two or three witnesses every word shall be established, established. yes now if you want you whatever you do to be established <laughs> yes, yes, you yes. get Jeroboam, uh -huh. you get uh, somebody else yes then you say me mm. when i grow up or when i i reach this point mm. i will do this and this so because of that, that one becomes a style because already there is a, a witness. witness. Yes. Yes. A witness. Yes. That's point number two. Yeah, there is a witness. There is a witness. Yeah. That is on confidence. How do we get it after the Holy Spirit? Now, we need now to, man to manifest it out also by confessing yes. to others now, to be established. Yeah, confession is broad. Yes. Confession, uh, we have the confession of salvation. We have the confession of Christ. We can confess Christ. Uh, we have we can profess our faith uh, we can confess so many other things mm. but the confession in short mm. has power <laughs> let me re relate you somewhere <laughs> when you read uh this is uh, uh it's actually in the book of uh, uh proverbs mm. 18 verse 21 that's the, the verse i like mm. i love uh, proverbs, uh, proverbs 18, 18 21, 21. Oh, what about, does it say about the tank eh? yeah the, the uh, proverbs 18 21 says uh, uh, death and, and life, life are in the power of, of the, the tongue. tongue. Yes, and those who love, love it, it yes. shall eat the fruits thereof. Mm. Now, now uh, I like it this way. Mm. I like it this way because uh, death and life are in the power, power of, the of the tongue. So we have two things in the tongue. Mm. You can confess uh, life, or you can confess death. death. Yes. But what does Moses say? Mm -hmm. Moses says, "I lay between you death and life." life. Choose life so that you and your descendants shall live. Mm. So when we choose with our tongue, we can choose life. You can choose the good things. Some people have chosen the bad things. That's why their lives are terrible. Mm. That is why some, some uh, are, are cannot make it in life. Because first of all, they say we will not make it. Mm. There are some who are in the city. They say because of the price of uh, mm. flour mill, mm. Unga, mm. we might not make it. <laughs> and because of the main other challenge, the economic difficulties that we are talking about. Yes. So you must confess positive. You must confess. When you confess, mm. then what happens now? 
a miracle happens. Mm. That's now the beginning of miracles. Eh? Mm. That is where God picks from. When you come to your wit's end and you cannot proceed any further, mm. then you commit everything to God. You commit by confession mm. and you also pray to God. You tell God, from here I'm stuck, but God helped me to continue from there. Yes. So we need to confess positive. Yes. There's something that I'm catching also. Yes. In this confidence, confidence can usher in a, a, a miracle. Miracles yeah. are not happening, not because God is not a miracle working God, but because there's a responsibility. We have not confessed positive. Yes. God is such a wonderful God that he can allow us to, 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 to either welcome or stop things. Which scripture says, I'm remind, getting reminded that, uh, behold, I'm standing by the door knocking. Yeah, it should be in Revelation. You can, you Revelation. Can, yeah, I'm standing at the door knocking. Yes, yes. But yes. It's in Revelation, yeah, I wanted. It to, says, "Behold, I stand at the door uh -huh. and knock." Yes. If anybody hears my voice uh, and opens, uh, I will come into him uh -huh. and I will sup with him. I will <laughs> eat with him. <laughs> and that is the difference between a miracle happening and a miracle not happening. Yeah, That's yeah, the difference of yeah, Pendwa. Yes. So that was, uh, by, uh, by the way, because of this introduction of confidence, now you need to confess and converse positive for a miracle to happen. Exactly. Carry on. So uh, in that confession, uh, you need uh, to confess uh, for whatever you want to do. Mm. Uh, why do we confess? We confess uh, so that uh, God can intervene in our situation. Yes. Uh, I, you remember the sort of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Abednego before yes. the king, yes. Nebuchadnezzar. They live forever, the king, king was so powerful, mm -hmm. but they made a very powerful confession that we are not careful, O oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, mm. uh, uh, to speak for ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, to answer you mm. in an eloquent manner. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have rhetoric uh, for uh, answering you, Yes, but we know that our God who is in heaven will deliver us. Even though he will not deliver us, we will not bow down to your image. Mm. Now that confession actually ignited the heavens. <laughs> so uh, the, the Lord re sent some help. Uh, and you know what Nebuchadnezzar saw? Yeah, he saw the, this fourth, saw uh, fourth person, person like the son of God Amen. Uh, who came to deliver them. And they were not uh, consumed by the fire. Actually it was clear. Yes. He said that he saw the fourth person, but it doesn't end like that. He saw the fourth person like the son of God. Yes, that like unto wonderful. the son of God. Like unto the son of God. Yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, this is what happens uh, when we make a, make an confes a confession. Uh, something uh, that happens is that uh, when we uh, uh, th things get difficult, uh, then that is when the angel, God sends the angels and then they, they pick on from there. When they do something that is beyond us, then it becomes a miracle. Mm. Now, uh, for example, uh, the scriptures say clearly in the book of uh, Mark, mm. it should be Mark chapter Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Mm. He says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Mm. Shall be? Uh, saved he that believes and baptized, but he that believes not shall be damned or condemned. Mm -hmm. uh, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm. And so the Lord, after the, the, the Lord had spoken mm. unto them, mm. he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And mark this, and they went forth mm. they went and forth. preached everywhere mm. the Lord working with them mm. and confirming the word with the signs amen. following amen. Amen. Now the commandment was there, yes. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, most of us, we think uh, 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 preaching the gospel to every creature is when we stand in the pulpit uh, only and then we make a declaration of the word of God. Okay. There are some people who don't know that uh, there is what we call the intentional discipleship. Intentional discipleship. So in intentional discipleship, uh, mm. you can use your profession uh, to proclaim the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are an accountant. Yes, yes, yes. And you do uh, proper accounting, and then the people are satisfied, and then the records are clear. They are legible, they are understandable, they are not corrupted. Mm. So when people come to learn that these things were done by somebody that 
as Christ in his life is yes. born again, eh? yes. then most people will, many people will turn to Christ. Right. You will have spoken to them. Yeah. You will have preached to them by your actions. Actions in the professional yes. sphere. Yes. Right. Yes. So that is why this great commission, eh, we must understand it clearly. Mm. So for us to be confident to uh, take it, most of us, we have no confidence. We think that the only platform for Preaching, preaching this word of God is, the is in the pulpit in the mm, church. Mm, mm. So that's why you might find young people they struggle. They want they are competing uh, <laughs> to get the pulpit so that they can <laughs> preach. Yet there are so many avenues of preaching, preaching the word of God. Yes. Just when you look at our fathers, our, our fathers, mm. the disciples, the apostles. Mm. First of all, the apostles preached the gospel, and they went from one city to another proclaiming the. The gospel and then they established churches. Mm. So in those churches whereby the clergy were appointed and then the leadership was, was, was there mm. and then the churches started growing. Mm. But first of all, somebody had to go out and preach uh, to and we, we call it to to open the, the fallow ground mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to where nobody has preached. That's why Paul was saying uh, his desire was to go to where Christ has not been mentioned yes. so that he can reach those people who have not been reached. reached. Mm. So how do we go to the people who have not been reached? reached? Where do we get that confidence? confidence? Now where do we get that confidence? Okay, now I think you have said it already. Mostly it's yes. inspired by the Holy Spirit yes. when we receive him. Yes. And also after we have received that confidence we need to to, 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 to make it manifest out. I don't, want, I don't want us to go so much today, but I wanted to ask you the last question. Yes. What is the part of other Christians in cultivating one, one person's confidence? Like you and me. Yes. What's my work to cultivate your confidence and what's your work to cultivate my confidence? Yes. Or does it just mean that you have to cultivate your own confidence? Okay. Mm. Uh, confidence uh, comes uh, uh, by driving away fear. Okay. Uh, it's actually confidence is not there when we have the uh, the fear of failing. Mm. But we should not uh, fear to fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. We must begin somewhere. Okay. And for us to begin somewhere, we must uh, uh, do. We will have to do many mistakes. Mm. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Like when my first preaching, do you know how I did it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Those days there, there was no Facebook, there was no WhatsApp, there was no YouTube. Yes. But then we, we have the, the cassettes, the radio cassettes. Mm. So I, I, I found one for Reinhard Bonke. Mm. Then I had to play it for some time. Then I, I repeatedly, uh -huh. I watched, mm. I heard about uh, about it. Mm. Then I preached to, uh, to, to, to one person. Mm. That was my mother. Okay. My, my brother was interpreting. And then I was preaching. <laughs> At least I gained the confidence because I knew my, my mother <laughs> will not despise me. Okay. So I preached. So I praise the Lord. Then my brother is there saying, Bwana sifuwe. Uh, the Lord is good. Bwana ni mwema. Bwana ni mwema. I think we finished the whole sermon uh, for Reinhard Bonke. The whole one. <laughs> the whole in the, in the tape. The tape. The tape. So at one, least, uh, one side was how many minutes? Uh, it was example, about uh, 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's so, quite long so, so, for uh, a beginning <laughs> preacher. <laughs> but nowadays I don't need to listen to Bonke for me to preach. Yes. I have now. the confidence. So you confidence. Dig, you can now dig your own well. Yes, I can now dig my, my own well. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So I confidence comes this way. Mm. Uh, first of all, you have to get things right. Okay. When you read the scriptures, mm. you must get them right. Mm. So getting them right, we have said you, you pray to God for great understanding. That's what we call revelation. revelation. Because the spirit of man knows the things of man, but the things of God, the spirit of God knows them. So he will reveal them to us. Mm. Then another thing, by uh, engaging other Christians, mm. like the way I'm engaging uh, Jeroboam yes, yes, uh, today. Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes, personally, I'm new in, in YouTube. Uh, I'm in, new in these things. Yes, but yes, because yes. I've engaged you, Jeroboam, uh, be sure that in the coming days, you'll I'll also better. be an expert. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'll be a YouTuber. Yeah. So when you, you, when you walk with the wise, uh, you shall become wiser. Yeah, you're reminding what, me. Yeah. You're reminding me of something practical. Yes. Let me mention you, Pastor David Otieno. You have cultivated confidence in me because of helping me to begin YouTube. Okay. So as Pastor is saying that he's going to be better, I have become better because of you, man of God. God bless you wherever you are. Amen. Uh, Amen. This one will not just pass like that. 
continue. Sorry yeah, I think uh, also to add on that. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, the first time I had you in YouTube, uh, uh, you were being interviewed by Pastor David, David Otieno. Otieno. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and you are fearful uh, in A the little. beginning. Yeah. But uh, as time went on, I I saw the real Jer- Jeroboam come out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, <yeah. laughs> Clearly, <laughs> you were very keen. You really watched all of, the whole of it. I really watched the whole of the it, and I've one, loved it. Yeah, and I, I trust that most of you will subscribe. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So uh, then, uh, mm. after you work with uh, the person that is uh, an expert in one one of the fields, uh, yes, you build that confidence. Mm. That is why Joshua worked with Moses, mm. and that confidence came into. Joshua, yes. but he was fearful. Mm-hmm. He did not want to, to take that mantle of leadership. Mm. But because he had worked with Moses, he knew what to do. Yes. He knew that when being, things become tough, mm. you don't cry, you don't complain, you don't lament, mm-hmm. but you seek the Lord. You ask mm. the Lord, what do I tell the people? Yeah. What do I do at such a time like this? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, this is wonderful. This is a wonderful introduction. Yeah. Yeah, I was also reading the book by Bishop Oyugi. On impressing seasons, yes. The, the 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 introduction caught the relationship that Joshua had with Mo, with 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 Moses. Yes. When the time came, though when Moses was alive, Joshua was fearful. Mm-hmm. But there, without knowing, he was being prepared yes. by the hardship they were going through. Yes. So that when Moses died, he took over with the confidence because of learning from yes. Moses. So yes. we can learn from others to cultivate into our confidence. Let me rob you of time today yes. uh, because we are doing introduction. Yeah. Uh, how can you wrap up this for us to finish this program? By saying something, by 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 even declaring to people the confidence in Christ as we continue, because we have other programs coming back to back after this. Oh, finally, viewers, I want to say that it's the purpose of God that we become confident in all that we do. Anybody that is not confident uh, does not achieve or does not maximize in what is he or she is doing. So, for us, uh, the Bible has given us a pattern of how we should. Uh, follow so that we get that confidence. In fact, the the Bible talks about perseverance. It mm. talks about persecutions. Mm. Then it talks about perseverance. Mm. That it it, it brings perseverance. Mm. Then perseverance brings hope. hope. Then uh, 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 hope, hope brings, brings that uh, long that suffering. that long suffering. Yes. Then, then finally, it ends up with confidence. Yes, yes. yes now yes, the yes, confidence yes. of a Christian, mm. whereby you can stand and tell people. I am born again because you know you have the backup of many good things uh, behind you by being born again. Mm. Now, by being born again is not the way we used to understand when we were young that you had to be very poor for you to be <laughs> born again. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, so we were fighting to be poor to so be that poor. we go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> but gone are those days gone are because those the days. Bible says silver and gold belongs Silo. to me, says the Lord. Amen. And God will give us the desires of the heart. Mm. And you talk about the rich men from the east. You talk about Abraham. You talk about Jacob. You talk about Solomon and many others. They were extra rich. Exactly. They, in fact, they were multi-billionaires. Mm. And yet they served God. Yeah. So it's only until you understand the scriptures, mm. then can you go boldly to do business, to proclaim the word of God, and to do the right things. Righteousness exalts a nation, mm. but sin is a reproach, reproach. to any people. Mm. Now for the nation to have bold people can stand against corruption, against uh, the evils of society, mm. it has to begin with you. It begins with one person. Mm-hmm. In fact, we were taught in, in high school, mm. uh, we are taught in the Christian Union, that do not say there is corruption in the land, but work hard in your education mm-hmm. and go and fill those positions in the government mm-hmm. and don't do the vices that they use. They, they used to do mm. so that is the sure way of eliminating corruption, corruption. in society exactly so that is the confidence we need to build as christians mm. from the day one mm. when we get born again mm. we have to testify mm. we have to uh, preach the word of god we have to read the word of god we have to engage other uh, learned people mm. who, who are uh, experienced in the word of god yes. and in many other good things mm. and then that's how a young person can grow you know, a young person, when you engage yourself to people who are, uh, have excelled mm. in life, mm. then can you be able to grow and to learn other things? Because you find in many instances, you are uh, asked for, what do we call it? Uh, the ex- work experience. Okay, work experience. And then you don't wa- know the work experience. Yeah. Assume even in the scripture, before they give you the pulpit, uh-huh. the, work, part of the work experience, <laughs> where, where, do, you where get do you get it? Where do you get it? So now you need uh, actually to engage the, the learned people. 
uh, and finally there is a scripture which says in the, in, in in Psalms uh, mm. that God has given me the tongue of the learned that I may speak the word the right word uh, in in time to him that is weary to him that uh, does not have hope mm. now as a young person or as a believer of Christ do you believe that whatever you are going to speak is going to help somebody to heal do you believe that if you lay hands on the sick they will recover mm-hmm. do you believe that if you speak words you can evade a, 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 a crime mm. Do you believe that mm. people could be organizing for a, a strike mm-hmm. in an institution mm. or in a school? Yes. But if you spoke to them like I did sometimes in college, mm. then can you, uh, can you evade that strike? Yes. I remember there was one time they were planning it. Mm. Then the everybody was giving his opinion. Mm. Now, I remembered in high school I was also told to speak, mm. but I did not say anything I feared. Oh. Because I feared it happened. Now but when we were in college I mm. said I will not keep quiet. Okay, okay. I'll speak. When I spoke everybody kept quiet mm. and that was the end of the matter. Exactly. And everything uh, became good. <laughs> and things were so- sorted of course. So confidence <laughs> yeah. Confidence in this uh, summary is supposed to be exercised. Yes. So if you keep quiet things may get spoiled just because you have not yeah. spoken. Yeah. Thank you so much. This was a short one and uh I know you are packed. So we shall continue from there. Thank But you so ours much. ours is the confidence in our Christianity, confidence at our workplace, confidence in going out to do evangelism and so on and so on. But this one, this one has to be informed by the word of God yes. and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you so much for watching and choosing this channel to be your channel. May the Lord God bless you as we continue. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. And God bless you.